I learned to knit when I was six, my mom taught me. And in college, I actually taught myself how to crochet. So I do both, but um, that one is definitely what I do more, is crochet. Um, I'm a graphic designer, and so a lot of my work is just on the screen. It's very flat and not very tangible, and I can't um, really work with my hands at work. It's creative, but there's, there's so many different kinds of being creative. I think I need just something to do when I get home. This is kind of a nice outlet to just use materials and just step outside the screen for a little while. A lot of my stuff that I make is kind of plain colors, and, but for the stitches, I guess, it depends on my mood. They kind of vary, like this one is very simple. It's only one stitch. These two I like the most because they're more intricate. Um, like what I really like about this one is that I, I tr got to try so many different kinds of stitches. Etsy is just kind of a place for anybody who's like selling handmade things or vintage things. Uh, when I graduated, I had kind of a hard time um, getting a job like most people my age. And, um, and then I thought, I guess I could try to sell my hats that I like to make. I sold two hats to my boyfriend's mother. I think it's just, it's a hard thing to get into. I think you really have to like get everything right. Maybe because I have tried to sell stuff on, on Etsy that I feel like I'd rather give my money to somebody. Because you know it's a person who made it and uh, it might be their only source of income and there's no middleman. I think it's a lot more human and personal because it's just, it's people, they have their shop um, and then their products.